You think I'm fixing your hair? You got a little devil spout. Is that what it's called? A little devil horn? We have less than two weeks to uh, move out of the house, so it's crunch time, really. We we gotta we gotta move, so you're gonna get some time lapse today. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So we're starting in our bedroom. Now we got a bookshelf. We actually painted. Got this. some closets. We painted this color. Christina picked this color. Christina picked every color out. I don't really, I wouldn't, I don't really mind. It's. It's cool. No, show them the color it used to be. It was peach. Like orangey, peachy, yucky. Uh, okay, yeah, it is. No. It's is a no terrible color. Yeah, don't mind all the junk right now. It's about to get it's about to get cleaned up. I don't know, I just started throwing stuff in here because we had to clean up the house for the um, showings and everything and I just like threw all my stuff in there, so. You're too squiggly. I'm kicking and moving. Are you, you gonna be helpful, Dylan? Do what? Are you gonna be helpful today, Dylan? You gonna get stuff done? Dylan had a crazy night last night. He said, don't pack me in a box. He, he did not wanna sleep for long periods of time. Yeah. All right. Um, where are you, what are you getting started on? The bookshelf. The bookshelf? Yeah. Um, so how do you do that, you guys? Because if I put all these books in one box, that box is going to weigh a bajillion pounds. And then I'm going to have to carry it. And you're going to have to carry it. Well, I mean, do we? are there books that we don't need? We'll figure it out. Uh, that's kind of sad. I love having just having books in the room. Yeah. I want to have, we got to have like a little bookshelf type thing in, in our room. Okay, Harry Potter's coming with me. We'll be, I already said she's on my, my little, in my little nookie. Yeah. All right, you can go, baby. What about, what about the Tao of Jeet Kune Do? The, the Tao of Jeet Kune Do. <laughs> I what? said the Tao of Jeet Kune Do. This is a really cool book. It, ha it has like. Uh, Bruce Lee's um, drawings and everything. Anthony, that's not what this video is about. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting to work. Have... So, I'm getting to work. Alright, alright. I'm getting to work. Turn the camera, do what you gotta do. I'm over here. Bandit, let the baby play on the floor. You leave him alone. I know, he's your new little charge and you must love him and protect him. But him doesn't need face licks. Him doesn't. Okay? Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, <laughs> okay. don't you face lick him. Don't you lick him in his face. Lay down. Hey, you scratch him. Lay down. Lay down. Where are you going to have to go?
show you my favorite books that I can read over and over and over and over again, and they're coming with me. Number one, A Streetcar Named Desire. Number two, Kill a Mockingbird. Number three, The Outsiders. And number four, Jane Eyre. Those are my top four books. I love and can read over and over and over. Yeah, that's not a lie. She's read like all of those multiple times. And Harry Potter. Especially when we're traveling. Harry Potter book series. I remember when we, when we traveled to Europe. Yeah. You 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 read a uh, Jane Eyre. Mm -hmm. On the trains and stuff. Shrieker and Desire. Every time I read it, I'm like, why do I love this book so much? But I love it so much. And then The Outsiders and To Kill a Mockingbird, classics! Jane Eyre, classic! <laughs> Although I think I'm done. Are you done? I don't know, these are still amazing. If I bring them out. Did he get over there by himself? Yes, he did. He was right here. Our baby's moving. <laughs> he started out right here. <laughs> right here. This is where Dylan was. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey! Hey! Where are you going? Huh? He's so cute! <laughs> Alright then, so it's my turn to pack up the books, or my books, and I've got a lot of them. Uh, I just wanted to show you a couple. Um, Christina kind of showed you a couple of hers, um, but we love books. We don't have a lot of them compared to book lovers, but we have a good bit, but here's some really cool ones. So this is um, the Redwall series by Brian Jakes. If you have children, these are wonderful books to read to them. Um, and eventually, Buddy's going to be reading these. They're really cool. A couple more of them. There's like 12 books in this series. No, I think there's even more than that. There's like 15 books in, the, in this series. The main characters in the series are animals like mice and otters, rats, badgers, weasels, all kinds of different like little rodent creatures. And I mean they have birds and snakes and stuff. And Brad Jakes gives these creatures personalities and there's huge adventures and stuff and fighting and stuff like that. It's really cool. I thoroughly enjoyed it whenever I was a kid. These are some really cool books. So this is The Wise Heart by uh, Jack Cornfield. It's a guide to the universal teachings of Buddhist psychology. And I, I'm just a really curious individual about many different things and that is one of them. My most recent is Joseph Campbell. He's another, I don't know, he's not really religious. He did study like cultural um, myths, all different kinds of cultures and it's it's really incredible his body of work this is a really cool book right here myths to live by you know it just teaches about human myth and how we can use the myth of past to inform our present and our future it helped me out a lot in um in life to broaden my perspective on things this is a really good one about parenting whole child whole parent it's a lot of little things about children and how how they um, respond to the world. It teaches how to be a full and whole human being. If you are full and whole, your parent or your child will be full and whole as well. It's just a lot of wisdom and a lot of love in this book. I have a, a lot of other different books on religion and spirituality and stuff, but we'll get out of that unless y'all want to see stuff like that. Mario Puzo books. Oh, this is it. This is The Sicilian. This is my this is my, like my favorite book. I actually read this sitting in Sicily in Montelepre, sitting in the courtyard 
next to the ocean. I wish we got video of all that, of all our travels to Europe, but we didn't. But we'll cover, we'll talk about our past adventures in Europe and Austria and Czech Republic and all that in future videos. I'm a big nerd. I'm a huge nerd. I would not be a nerd if I hadn't have read The Lord of the Rings. This is The Two Towers. This is um, The Fellowship. No, this is The Return of the King. I can't find my copy of The Fellowship of the Ring. That's, this is a big undertaking if you want to read books. The Lord of the Rings is a huge undertaking. But I highly recommend it if you're a nerd. Dude, Ugh. The Art of War and Other Classics of Eastern Thought. Oh man, dude, this is, this is really, really, really cool. So, there's just so much wisdom in this book. Not just the Art of War, which is really cool, um, but specifically the Tao, the, I can't, I don't know if I'm saying this right. The Tao De, the Tao De Ching. Um, I mean, you should. You can just read this, and if you don't even understand what it's talking about, it's just really, really beautiful. It's, the Tao that can that can be trodden is not the enduring and unchanging Tao. The name that can be named is not the enduring and unchanging name. Conceived of as having no name, it is the originator of heaven and earth. Conceived of as having a name, it is the mother of all things. Always without desire we must be found. If it's deep mystery we would sound. But if desire always within us be, its outer fringe is all that we will see. Alright, I'm all finished up. Check out those books. They're pretty cool. And on to the next scene. Hey, I'm in Bodhi's room now. And he's got a lot of books. So I already organized like this is what he can keep in his camper room closet to start and of course there's like some staple books in here that he'll always keep. But then we've got all these books and some of them will like rotate out. So if we've been on the road for six months and we've exhausted some of these books then we'll take them out and we'll go to Alicia's house and get more books from here. Or like we've got a lot of books for Dylan too at the moment. And so when he like starts being able to not tear out pages and not needing the board book so much, then that'll also free up more room where then we can have more books. You can never have more books and it's really hard for me to get rid of books. So instead I'm trying to figure out how to store, like you see, I mean it's a little less than half. Because a lot of his books I like measured, they will fit so. I don't know, I've got some box options and I don't know how to do this because they're like not gonna fit perfectly like I want them to. Can't find the perfect box. To be a lion trainer and it has like all sorts of jobs that you can be if you love animals 
And this one's I want to be an astronaut and it has all sorts of jobs if you want to, if you're like a, a daredevil, a stuntman, a spy, a fighter pilot. I'm gonna take those to school for a year. And then, I mean they're board books so they'd be good for Dylan too. So I might switch them to be stored with his books. that will be dumped into his baskets that are, I think, maybe we showed you online the toys. Maybe we haven't shown you yet. I got like a nine cube thing that we've let him keep most of his toys in his room so far. So, the baskets like these feel like a mumbling. In the camper trailer, we already built like a nine cube thing that fits these baskets in it. And so he has some toys that of course we left in his room, the ones he frequently plays with, but we've got the baskets already in the trailer. So these will just have to be dumped. These will be moved. And we still have to sell his bed. We're gonna keep his dresser as just extra storage for like um, clothes. So like Obviously Dylan <laughs> grows out of clothes every three to six months and so we're going to put, put like Bodie's old clothes in there that are going to be Dylan's hand-me-downs so that we can just quickly go to Alicia's, pull out the drawer, grab the next vacuum sealed pack of clothes and be good to go. And we might need to narrow down stuffed animals but I'll do that with Bodie because he knows the ones he likes. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at, so I'm going to turn this, and I'm going to, yeah, how you work this thing? So when you flip it, I'm upside down. Oh, there we go. Get out of your comfort zone!